let's just work on very simple cuts. Start down here, let's do an L cut, which means you're just gonna run up this line and then you're gonna pop out to here, right? So if somebody's guarding you, stand right here on this block, they're gonna be in here, right? So if you can just run up, run up, if the basketball's up there, right? And now you pop out, right? But you kind of took a curve. I want you to go, come up, come right here real quick, Alec. And then I want you to just dip straight out. That's better, yeah. And then you, you just gotta make sure you keep your eyes on me the whole time, all right? When you catch it, I want you to only take three dribbles maximum to the basket and then finish a layup, all right? Good. Hey, that was great, all right? Let's make two of them, let's make two of them. Draw an L. Was that an L? Kind of, that was more like a J, look. You're going here, you're getting to here and you're kind of looping it like this. So you're drawing like a J. I want it to be a cut, right? Yeah, so look, watch me. I'm here slow. When I get to here, it's straight out, right? So I literally come straight out from there. You got it, go for it. Better, better, attack. Hey, great rep, Alec. Oh, and then just get to that backboard. We got to make two of them, two, two makes. See me the whole time. Same exact thing, same exact thing. L cut. Thumbs up. Oh yeah, pop out. Let's go, Alec, great job. Only thing I wanna add, so we're gonna do this side, only thing I wanna add to it is I want you giving me a target of where you want me to pass the ball. So you walk up, right, you pop out, where would the target be? Yep, but you gotta give me a target with your hands, right? So which hand do you think is, your, is gonna be your target? Start again, walk through it. Which hand would be your target? Pause right here, which hand would you want? If the basketball is getting passed from there. That one, why? So put that hand out, put it out like that. There's your target because it's farther from me, right? If you put this hand up as your target, I'm right next to you. So if you give somebody, if you tell them to pass it to this hand, I'm right next to you, I'm gonna steal it. So you wanna give your outside hand as your target, the hand farthest from defense. You make sense? All right, here we go. Yes, yes, now attack. Play through it. Good, we'll count that as one. Do you know what a V cut is? No. A V cut is if I'm already on the wing and I wanna catch the ball here and my point guard has the ball up top, or I can do this anywhere. All I do is I walk my person down, my defender down, and then from here I pop out, right, to catch the ball. We call it a V cut because I, if I start here, I walk them down, I pretty much pop out to the same spot, but I don't come exactly to the same spot. I usually come closer to the ball, so it ends up being the letter V. Does that make sense? So that's what I want you to do now, catch it, you're gonna take one dribble to go to the right. I want you to cross it over. One more dribble, cross it over, get to the basket, and then you're getting into your finish, all right? Here we go, V cut. Good. Boom, cross, yep, cross, finish that. Tough, Alec. Oh, hey, I love that rep. That was, that was literally perfect. I just build speed every rep, and then obviously we want the ball to go in the basket. Here we go. Good. Cross it. Oh yeah. Tough. Great rep. Here we go. Nice. Speed. Boom. Cross. Yep. Cross. Good. Hey, good finish. One thing I'm going to point out, it's not wrong, right? There's times to do this, but a lot of the time when you're going right now, you're catching the ball and then you're turning this way. So you can't see me, right? So Again, it's not wrong, but if, if, because there's times where if the defender overplays, you might have to catch it and just go and turn into it, right, if they jumped in front of you. But if you can catch it and stay facing me and then be able to rip and go this way, if I cut, you're able to see it, right? And you're able to see the whole, whole court. So if anybody else is open, you're able to see it, right? And you're able to see your driving lines. If you turn like this, now there's a moment where you can't see anything that's going on, right? So when you pop out, Make sure you can see me, catch it, and you, you stay facing this way. You never turn. You got me? We'll talk about it one day, though, when, when we need you to turn out like that. There we go, Alec. Oh, yeah, change. Change. Finish that. Tough. Let's get it. Two free throws. Good job. Great job. You're right-handed, right? So you shoot. What's that? 
You play good with both, but as a shooter, you shoot it with your right hand, right? So what should your left hand do? Help controlling the ball, perfect. So this is your shooting hand, this is your guide hand, right? So what I want you to do is hold the ball and make sure your right hand is behind it. This hand's on like the side or on top, all right? And then when you shoot, I want this hand to stay holding the number five up like this, facing that way. And then I want this hand to go into the basket. So all the way into the basket, right? Like shoot. And then like, if you were gonna grab something that's in the basket, your hand's like this, right? You should be able to grab something. Show me that you can grab something, like that, right? So arm is long, grab something, keep the arm long. Nope, in the basket, right? So your hand has to go down, now grab it, like that, right there. And then hold, pause right there, this hand here. You see your, your position? That's where we need you to finish right now on all your shots, all right? Let's see if you can get to that. Look at your hands. That one, not bad. This one was way down here, right? I want both hands to finish at the top. Right there. Now, wait, wait, wait. Look how you brought it up. Don't bring it up. You got to be able to hold it down here. Don't force your hands that close to each other. There. Let me move this hand. That's where you're going to be comfortable. Does that feel comfortable? What? Yeah? All right, bring it down. Your hands are too close together, right? Spread that, yeah, the more space we can see between here, like my, my hands should be able to fit in here, that's good. A lot of people will teach you that you want your hands close to each other. You're gonna have to keep them spread out. I'll show, I'll show you pictures of good shooters. Let me see it, bring it down. Does it feel like it's in your hands really secure? So I shouldn't be able to hit it out, right? If it's secure in there. Bring it down. That's good, now shoot. You're good, but here's what I want you to do is try not to bring it up to here and then shoot. I want you to bring it just here and then watch. Does that make sense? Hey, that was your best one. But when I say like I want you to shoot quick, I don't want you to take your time lining your hands up. I want you to just hold it. All right, so I just hold the ball and then when I say shoot, shoot. All right, ready? Hold it, shoot. Good, and then what are we focused on? The follow through, right? Show me the follow through. Arm should be really long. Like that. Shoot. Hey, that was your best one. Do it again. Keep holding at the top there. Shoot. Yes, I like that. So a drop is when you split your feet and you pull the ball into your pocket. And then you explode, right? The ball has to pull into your pocket though as you, as you split your feet, right? You try it without the ball real quick, so I know you get it. Yes, and then you explode, perfect. So here's what I wanna see real quick. I want you to drop, I want you to take two dribbles to like right in that area, and then pick it up and shoot. So take two dribbles, one, two, drop, one, two, stop right here, and then get into your shot from there. All right? Yep, explode. Miss short there, right? Did you take your time? Take your time. Hey, if you miss, it's fine, but if you don't take your time, you have five push-ups after this rep. Take your time, right? And then you won't have any push-ups. Hey, that was your closest rep, right? You took your time there. Do the same thing, now farther. Until you miss long, put as much power on it as you can. Hey, that was better. You're still missing short though, right? That, that still hit the front of the rim. So you, we still need more power. So all I want you to think about is hit above the black, uh, above the middle square. Yes, good job, make one more. Great job. Same thing, same thing. All right, Alec, great job today. One free throw, if you make it, you can leave. If you miss, you gotta do 10 push-ups. You, you say, you're saying you're gonna miss before you shoot it? Shoot it, make it, then you can just go home. Oh, we gotta get strong. 10, one, two, three, four. Hey, all the way down, all the way down. Five, six, more down, more down, more down. That's a push up right there. Two more like that, two more like that. Oh, hey, but that's how you gotta do them right there, right? Hey, here's my challenge for you. If you do 
a perfect push-up every day and you just add one onto it, right? By the end of a month, you can be at 30 push-ups that are really, really good. So right now you're struggling like to get like a, a really clean one where you go all the way down and then all the way up. But I bet you could just get one of those, right? So tonight, here's what I want you to do. Do one right before you go to sleep, all right? And then tomorrow night, how many can you do? Two. Two. And every day, try to do one more than the day before, all right? And you'll start getting really good at perfect push-ups. And right now, you don't like doing them, right? But when you get really good at them and you can do 30 and other kids can only do like five with bad form and you can do 30 with really good form, you'll want to do them more, right? So just build it up one day at a time.